Okay, this is a quick tutorial on variables in JavaScript. Just want to talk about how to declare uh, variables, how to initialize them with values, and how to use them um, in conjunction with strings in uh, printing to the console. So this is just the very beginning of uh, learning this language, and this should be really simple. Hopefully, um, will be a little bit fun. If you switch over in the code to this readme file, you'll see that there's a little bit of a discussion here about what it means to declare and how the let keyword works, uh, what it means to initialize and how to assign values, and um, how you can do that all at once. And of course, um, using different data types. Uh, we have strings, we have numbers, that may be as much as you've learned about so far, and that's okay. And then printing to the console and combining strings with the variable using this console.log uh, function. So we're gonna practice all of this, and I'm just gonna talk about it as we go through. So um, kind of hearkening back to the early days of MySpace and Facebook, um, something that was very popular was to pass around these lists of things that some other people might not know about yourself and then your friends could kind of you know uh, respond and post you know their answers and so this is just a, a kind of a fun way to start to learn how to work with variables um, so we're going to you know give them interesting names we're going to use numbers when we have numbers um, otherwise we'll use strings and just kind of go through these a little bit at a time and then when we get down to part two here we will actually print some things out so let's start at the top. I already have a couple of things done. I've got your name and I've got let name. So that's declaring a variable in JavaScript called name. And then I'm saying um, should have the value. I'm using that equal sign to assign a value of your name here, which of course is not my name. So I'm going to change this and say Carrie. Um, and that's it. I end with a semicolon um, like any line of code in JavaScript just about. Um, and then uh, the next one is, what is your favorite season? Again, I'm using let to declare it, um, say to JavaScript, I want this to be a variable and I want to store some information. And this time I called it fave season, which is a kind of shorthand way to um, you know, make it clear what it's supposed to be storing. And I, you also notice I'm using camel case here, which is um, where you have each word um, capitalized except for the very first one. Um, and that's the standard kind of um, uh, practice with, to use this convention, this naming convention with JavaScript. Okay, so, and I, I've uh, set this to spring and that is absolutely true. That's my favorite uh, season. It's kind of a toss up between autumn and spring, but these days I'm, I'm feeling spring. Okay, age you learned Santa wasn't real. This is actually kind of a hard one for me because I don't know if I ever really believed Santa was real, <laughs> but um, let's say we're, we'll call this uh, then who, ate the cookies. And I'm going to just say this was four. It was like three or four. I just, my first memory is thinking, oh, my parents are out there eating the cookies right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that means I knew Santa wasn't real. Um, okay. Least favorite food. Uh, let um, gross food equal. And I have to go with sauerkraut on this one because I just can't. I like lots of food and that is just not one of them. Um, first album I owned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I had lots of cassette tapes as a kid, but, um, my first CD, my friend, um, Ernie bought me in high school. Uh, and that was, um, let's see, first album. I'm going to call this, uh, Boston. It was, it was the album of, by Boston named Boston. Still awesome. Still love it. Okay. Let's fave dessert equal. I'm gonna have to go with chocolate cheesecake. That's a long time favorite. I'm kind of a chocolate fan. And then um, most recent median band I saw in concert. Um, I might, this might not be the most recent thing I did, but um, I haven't done a lot since, since COVID hit. Let's see, let, uh, why don't we call this um, live in concert? And I'm going to go with Trevor Noah. I know for sure I saw him right before the pandemic hit. That was pretty funny. Okay. Um, number of U.S. states I've lived in or visited. 
let's see, I counted this one up ahead of time because otherwise it would have taken forever to sit here and do that. Uh, so less than 50 probably is definitely true, but um, let's uh, say that's 31. And you'll notice that I've made this a number and not a string because uh, it is in fact a number. Uh, do I prefer salty or sweet snacks? Um, let's salty or sweet, definitely sweet. Cats or dogs, what cats or dogs equal cats all the way. I have two, they're really cute. They keep the company, I love them. All right, what's one of your comfort foods? Let comfort food, that's a tough one. Um, kind of a toss up, I think, between um, shepherd's pie and lasagna. I'm gonna go with lasagna. The, my dad's lasagna is awesome. Let nickname, so this is a silly name. My parents called me when I was little. Parents called me Carolina 49. <laughs> my dream vacation destination, let's, um, hmm, what do I call this? Let's call this wanna get away. Wanna get away equals uh, Iceland. I really wanna see the Northern Lights in Iceland one day. Okay, would I rather be hot or cold? Um, let hot or cold, oops. Definitely cold over hot. <laughs> um, and everyone's different, but that's how I feel. Okay, so we now have um, a whole bunch of things. It looks like we ended up with only one, no, two numbers. We have a four and a 31, the rest are all strings. And that's fine. Um, so, you know, lots of uh, practice there and just the, and you know, it's good to just to practice typing this out. When you're new to coding, um, there's a rhythm that you kind of build, uh, you know, some muscle me memory that you need to kind of develop. And so just sitting here and typing this out is really, really good practice to get accustomed to that. If you felt like I was typing really, really fast as you were trying to type and you're not keeping up, that's okay. Because I remember being frustrated by that when I was first getting used to this too. Um, so, you know, with these tutorials, feel free to pause as many as times as you need to kind of catch up. All right, so part two is to print a numbered list. And I kind of already have started with a title, things you may not know about, and then I concatenated here um, with the name variable that I set way up here at the top with my name, Carrie. Um, and then I've added on a second row with a bunch of asterisks as kind of a, a separator. And you'll notice I've put in these um, backslash and that's a called a new line character. It's an escape character. And it just means that it's going to force it to the next line in the console in the way that it prints out. So this will actually print out on two lines and it'll also put another line break after that before it prints the next thing. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and kind of see what this looks like. We've got a number one, my favorite season with the favorite season that I had already coded. Um, we'll run it. And now you see it. Things you may not know about Carrie with the line underneath it. And then um, an extra space because of this uh, backslash in right here. And then number one, my favorite season, spring. So we're going to do this with um, the rest of these and just go through one at a time, you know, then who ate the cookies, gross food, we're going to use all of these variables to print this list um, and just get some practice in this. And again, it's really, really good practice to type this out so that you can kind of get really comfortable with that because you're going to be typing a lot of console logs over the next uh, few uh, months and years if you continue uh, as a JavaScript developer. Okay, so right here, below here, I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna do another console log and uh, say two and say age, I learned Santa wasn't real. And um, I'm gonna put a space right there between the colon and the end of that string because I wanna make sure there's gonna be a little bit of a buffer between the colon and my um, value that's in the variable when it comes out in the console. Then who ate the cookies? Okay, so let's uh, see how this works. I'm gonna run it. Yeah, so now you can see that right there, because I added that space in at the end of the string, the string is here, age I learned Santa wasn't real colon space. And then I concatenated, then who ate the cookies? And that's just that value four right there. So it just added them together back to back. 
um, but to make it look right. And you know, I had to consider the fact that that space needed to be there. So that's just something to keep in mind as you are um, printing things to the console. If it's meant to be something that a user is going to read, you wanna format it well. And that means thinking about those kinds of things. Okay, let's continue. Um, console log, next is gonna be number three which is uh, my least favorite food. Again, with a space and then I'll concatenate, uh, what did I call it, gross food? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, we'll run that. Just make sure everything's coming out the way we expect it to, good. Okay, so I can keep doing this, console.log and then parentheses and then I'll put my string for um the first album i own all by myself and that was uh i don't remember what i called it so i need to come up here and look first album this is what happens when i start being creative with my names and then i start second guessing what i actually did that's okay um five is my favorite dessert Plus, and then we'll say fave dessert. And then console.log number six. Most recent concerts I attended. So you can you can lay these out however you want to. You don't have to say the same thing that I do. Um, you know, personalize this, make it exactly what you want it to be. Um, live and concert. Same with the variable names. You can pick your own variable names. Uh, number of U.S. states didn't really be capitalized. There we go. I've been to, and that's going to be um, less than fifty, probably. I think is what I mean that one. Yeah. Okay. Number eight is salty or sweet. Number nine is cats or dogs. Okay. And by the way, um, the way I'm able to do that autocomplete on these, let me show you as I get there. Comfort food. Okay. So if I start typing in uh, something that exists, a variable name that exists, um, I don't remember what I called this. Oh, comfort food. Well, that's straightforward. Comfort food. So I started typing it in and um, Replit, you know, noticed that I was typing in something and started making a suggestion. So once it does this, you can move around with the up or down arrow. Obviously, I do want the first one. So you can just hit uh, either enter or tab. I, I find that I prefer tab um, to complete it. And then you can just keep typing and it's really handy. Um, to make things go smoothly. So that's something you can practice and kind of get into a rhythm with. Um, you'll find that it makes your coding go a little faster as you get better at it. It takes time, but you'll get there. Okay, so a nickname. Now let's do number 12, dream. Vacation destination. Want to get away. Last one. Number 13. Hot or cold? These questions were kind of random, but that was kind of the point. Oops, I only finished concatenating. Okay, there we go. Now let's print it. Um, I probably should have run this earlier to see if I had any mistakes, but no, yeah, everything looks good. I've got spaces after all of my colons. Everything's on its own line. So I can, you know, pull this over if I want to kind of force that onto one line there um, since it's longer. But yeah, everything looks good. So this is it. Um, that's all there really is to it. So I have um, a, huh, it's like I accidentally closed something. Hang on a second. What just happened? There it is. Oh, uh, oh wow. Okay, I don't know what was going on with my trackpad there, but it was 
getting away from me. All right, so um, the last thing here is this bonus mission, which really all this says is if you want more practice, go back and add more of these you know, variables, you know, come up with some other little fun facts and then come down and keep adding to this list. It just is a good way to get a little bit more practice and get yourself um, used to typing these things out, which will really come in handy as you start building your knowledge because you're gonna start, you know, this is just a foundation for all the things you're gonna be learning and you're going to want to be really comfortable with this so that you can just kind of do it as a matter of course while you're learning all the new things you can do with it. Um, and you're gonna be learning to do all kinds of cool stuff. So that's it.